Merrill Lewis disappeared in the flak-filled skies of North Vietnam July 20th, 1966. As so often happened during bombing raids over North Vietnam, events moved quickly. A fellow pilot was not sure if Lewis ejected from his F-105 before the plane went down. Reports were that he was hit and uh, possibly seen ejected. I never really got the real story. The Lewis family had just settled in San Diego when word came in July 1966 that Colonel Lewis was missing in action. As months turned into years, Janet Lewis raised her children, Tamara and Merrill Jr. alone, finally waiting more than two decades to discover for certain what had happened to her husband. It is pretty much decided from the evidence that he wasn't a prisoner of war, that he died probably fairly soon after he crashed. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Fort Rosecrans Cemetery, the remains of Colonel Merrill Lewis will be laid to rest, sharing the hillside lookout with a half dozen other MIAs whose bodies have been returned over the years, though even as the waiting and wondering finally ends for the Lewis family, the vigil and waiting is by no means over for everyone. The question remains, are there still live American prisoners in Southeast Asia? My brothers for a long time has tried to get me to understand that he really believes there's people over there too. And I, I just wouldn't talk to him about it. Now I wish I had, because I, I really, I think maybe that there might be. How can there not be? There are those who are convinced that Americans are still being held prisoner in Asia, that Vietnam will keep the prisoners and the POW MIA issue alive until America pays the three and a half billion dollars that was promised at the end of the war. Something Vietnam won't let America forget. Well, if you look at the dates when other POW remains have been returned, they're usually around Christmas time and Fourth of July and, and things like that, Thanksgiving. Um, it's my estimation that uh, North Vietnam tries to get the best media or the best propaganda, I guess, out of it. Tamara Lewis Kolstad believes it's no coincidence that her father's remains were returned by Vietnam in time for burial on the day America has set aside to remember the POWs and MIAs. Yet for the Lewis family, the long, hard years are finally over. Be happy for us and keep praying for the other families that don't know what's happened to their, their loved ones and just pray that they come home. It's probably no coincidence, but the Vietnamese government, once again, is releasing the remains of Americans killed during the Vietnam War as we observe POW MIA Day. And for one San Diego family, the release brings to an end more than 23 years of waiting and wondering. Sheila Liu is in the Channel 8 newsroom now with their very emotional story. Hal and Susan, the friends and family of Colonel Merrill Lewis gathered at Fort Rosecrans on Point Loma today. They gathered to say goodbye, to finally lay him to rest. After 23 years, Colonel Merrill Lewis has finally come home. Today was a chance to say goodbye to a husband, father, and friend, missing in action for more than two decades. The frustration of waiting, of wondering, is finally over. Because no matter how much you continue to go on with your life and go to your day-to-day -day jobs and, and get married and have children, you just have this empty feeling that you don't know what happened to someone that you love very much. And uh, I was afraid that I would never know. And this just, it just, it just gives you peace of mind that I can't even describe. Colonel Merrill Lewis was shot down over North Vietnam on July 20th, 1966. In the chaos of combat, no one was sure what happened. Now the family knows he probably died in the crash. No doubts remain about identification. I'm definitely convinced now through the dental records that it is in fact him. I uh, was skeptical at first but, and had to, wanted to make damn sure that it was, but I'm now convinced. As fighters soared by overhead, a new generation of pilots waved a final salute to a missing comrade. The missing man formation, more than just a reminder for the Lewis family, that other families still suffer, that other Americans are still missing. I just don't want them to forget that there's uh, our, you know, brothers and, and fathers and, and friends are over there. They're still over there. Don't forget them. Bring them home. Colonel Merrill R. Lewis, Jr. has finally come home. On this special day, America remembers all of those missing in action, hoping that the waiting and the wondering will soon come to an end.